Good morning from Lake McDonald inside Glacier National Park. If you've ever seen a picture of this park, I almost guarantee you've seen this lake. It's very iconic. And apparently watching the sunrise here is beyond popular. We have seen dozens, maybe close to a hundred or more cars. The cars are just streaming, streaming. <laughs> in here. I don't know where they're going to watch the sunrise, but this is what we've chosen and it looks just fine. <laughs> So maybe they're one of those people who we need to get to the parking lot at 5.30 or 6 so that we can get a parking spot to start the hike. That's going to be us tomorrow, but today we're going to enjoy going to the sun road, the sunrise, and then hopefully a really cool campsite. I decided to walk along the beach just a little bit further. Had to scramble over some rocks to get there, but I wanted to try to get a slightly better shot than what we had. And Nathan is making breakfast, so I think I got the better end of that deal. But this was great. I hope Nathan's not wondering where I'm at. I walked quite a bit further than I think either of us intended. The lake just keeps going, and it's almost like I'm just trying to chase that sunrise, so yeah, I walked quite a ways. Oops. I hope uh, the breakfast is still warm when I get there. Nathan? Oh, I don't know where he's at. <laughs> that was not expected. Nathan! Hey! Hi. What are you doing? I'm looking for you. <laughs> I told them, I was like, oh, I've been gone a while. Oh, well, Amber just wanders into the woods and then doesn't come back. <laughs> Looks like breakfast is almost ready. few things. Yes, I just walked my breakfast to the beach to get that shot. And two, no silverware. As uh, Nathan demands, you have to use the tortilla and eat with your hands. Oh, and lastly, I do put mustard on my corned beef hash. Don't knock until you try it. When we were about one hour away from our campsite last night, we had to go through a construction site. And it was full of gravel, loose gravel, and this semi-truck. Just driving along, doo -doo 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 huge clump of dirt with rocks in it bashes the windshield and both of us are like Whoa! left all kinds of chips and scratches we've got one more chip in the windshield i've never seen a windshield scratch like this you can see exactly where it hit though hope we're not charged extra for that one we're going to drive going to the sun road and see where it takes us Fine. It's just very, very narrow roads. Very narrow. Steep drop offs. Oh, I don't care side. about the drop offs. Drop offs don't bother me. It's the other cars. I cannot drive off on the road, but I can't control the other cars coming close to me. The water really is that color. Have you explained what we're doing yet? Oh, you'll see. Wow. 
water than me. 37 degrees. This has been one of the most spectacular days in a national park since we started this trip. Just some actual, not tips, but rules on going to the Sun Road. Your vehicle cannot be longer than 21 feet or wider than 8 feet, and that is for good reason. I would not want to take a camper up or down that road. It is narrow, there are steep cliffs, and not everybody drives straight, let me tell you. This is just one more reason why we are thankful we are in a van and not a camper of any size. No trailer, nothing. Now that our butts are thoroughly frozen solid, we're gonna head to the store, get some food for dinner, and then head to our free campsite. Three miles. Got ourselves in a bit of a situation. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Just a little update. We did find a free campsite about 15 minutes outside of Glacier National Park. It's full of rocks and it's right on the river and we got stuck, like really stuck. Thankfully, both neighbors on either side started to help push, clear rocks, I and mean, everyone was getting dirty, just doing what they could to get us out. It worked a little, but it didn't actually get us fully unstuck until some dude in a big truck who just happened to be pulling into the area, uh, he hooked up to us and towed us out. And yeah, that's just our little drama for the evening. Now we're finally gonna cook dinner and get ready for our very long hike tomorrow morning. some friends and then bring them here. And then bring them here. There's a lot of just loose pets around this place and I love it. 